It's time to talk about Nintendo's original anti-hero, Wario. Wario is a kind of wild card of the Mario franchise. You never really know what he's gonna do or just what will happen in his games. Like most Mario characters, we don't know a ton about him either, except that he's weird, greedy, and thick. Wario's weird right down to his entrance into the gaming world. Nintendo wanted Mario to have a foil and they wanted him to fight for something that was his own instead of just rescuing Peach. So they had him fight Wario for ownership of an island in Super Mario Land 2.6, Golden Coin, which is a really weird game, even for Mario standards. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Wario in Smash. Wario made his debut in Brawl, where he was one of several good characters that got overshadowed by Meta Knight, the original Bayonetta. In Smash 4, the big yellow boy didn't make the same splash and settled into the middle tiers. Now that Ultimate's here, Wario is back in business, and that's good because he's greedy as possible. In Ultimate, Wario is a pretty popular high-tier character championed by players like Tweak and Glutiny. This guy's got way more than six coins in his pocket now. So, what makes Wario so good in Ultimate? Three things. One, he's great fighting in the air. Two, he has an S-tier combo game. And three, he applies a crazy amount of pressure. We're gonna break down those three big strengths and give you a nice introductory guide to get you started with Nintendo's stinkiest, thickest weirdo. But first, if you're looking for those pro guides, if you're searching for the most advanced stuff we got, then head on over to ProGuys.com. We just added a course from the legend himself, the best player in the world, MK Leo. We've also got advanced combo and character guides and live coaching on top of all of that. All right, so one of the reasons we've got Wario in high tier is because of his insane ability to fight in the air. But you might still be a bit skeptical. In a game where characters can fly and jump six times, why is Wario one of the best air fighters? Well, the truth is that how many jumps you have, how high your up special goes, or even the specialists you can use in the air often don't matter as much as raw frame data and base stats. Frame data is how we measure the speed of a character's moves, like how long a move takes to start or how much lag you're in after you finish it. Base stats are the things that change how a character moves around and interacts with the space. So base stats are things like how high a character jumps, how fast they fall, how fast they run, and even how far an attack launches them. You wouldn't guess from looking at him, but Wario actually hit the gym before Ultimate and now he's got great stats. Wario has the 8th fastest air speed in game, making him super agile and mobile in the air. On top of that, he has the second fastest air acceleration in the game, tied with Peach. That means he gets to the height of his jump super fast. Since he jumps pretty high, he can cover a lot of distance pretty fast. That's crucial for dodging attacks, winning neutral, and comboing opponents. This is all despite the fact that Wario is heavy as hell. Yep, he's tough to kill and fast. So, when you see top Wario gameplay, you'll see a lot of jumping because that's the efficient way for Wario to move. Since Wario has pretty great recovery with his bike and up special, he can also jump in neutral without much fear. If an opponent catches his jump, he's probably not getting gimped like Roy or Crom. You also see a lot of jumping because Wario's arrows are so good. This is where the frame data comes into play. Wario's neutral air has a frame 4 startup. That means that the move activates 0.07 seconds after you press the button. To put that in perspective, the average human reaction time is 0.25 seconds. Yeah, you're not reacting to Wario's neutral air. And pretty much all of Wario's moves have great frame data, making them hard to react and hard to punish. It's not all frame data either. All of Wario's arrows have utility. His down air has a long-lasting hitbox that's great for edge guarding. His forward air is super fast, combos at low percents, and can be a safe poke in some cases. His up air has a huge hitbox and less knockback that makes it a godlike juggling and comboing tool. His back air is a go-to kill move that's fast and effective. Then there's his neutral air. You can basically use his neutral air for anything. For approaching, for comboing, for edge guarding, for out of shield, for crossing up, for finding the love of your life, for starting a family, for paying the down payment on the house, or for just haggling with the used car dealer over the mid-sized sedan. Um, okay, might have gotten carried away there. But Wario's aerials are super useful, and when they fail, he can even use his specials. He can activate his bike in the air and drift left or right, and the bike makes a hitbox that can protect Wario. He can also use his bite in mid-air to catch opponents shielding on platforms. Wario's will spend lots of time in the air, but the best Wario players will mix up their style and spend time on the ground too. And lots of times, even good Wario's lose their stocks to straight anti-air moves their opponents throw out. 
The downside of being a super aerial based character is getting caught by raw up smashes and up tilts. That's why even though Wario is a heavy, fast, and strong rushdown character, you have to be careful not to just mindlessly jump on your own opponents. You're not Mario, you're Wario. You gotta be tricky. In the world of the fighting game, few characters survive without combos. In Ultimate especially, most high and top tier characters have follow-ups and combos that work pretty reliably. The ones that don't usually have zoning tools to compensate. Remember how Wario has a super fast jump? That means that he can chase down aerial opponents super easily and get follow-ups and combos that most of the cast can only dream of. Having quick aerials with big, long-lasting hitboxes means that he has a wide range of follow-ups to pick from too. Wario has a ton of different go-to options to start a combo as well. Neutral air, up throw, and up tilt all send opponents in great directions for combos. In terms of follow-ups, Wario will usually extend his combos using up airs or neutral airs and sometimes forward airs. Then to cap the combo off, Wario likes to use a back air or the dreaded waft. But Wario can't always fart on or headbutt his opponents. Oftentimes, the up air is the best finisher at low percents, usually before 60%. Wario can get around 4 hits in on an opponent and build up around 50% off one opening. So, what are some of Wario's bread and butter combos? Well, you can land a neutral air into an up tilt into an up air. Or before 20%, you can land a neutral air and then chain together three up airs. If you're feeling really fancy and you want to show your opponent what the other side of the stage looks like, you can carry them across with a neutral air into a forward into a neutral air into two up airs. Or you could land the first hit of neutral air and get a grab right afterwards. Forward air into a re-grab. At higher percents, a weak hit of neutral air can chain into a back air or waft. Some of these combos can be pretty tough to pull off and will require you to practice. You'll need to be short hopping and fast falling to make a lot of them work just right. If you want to start off with something super simple, just try landing things like up tilt into up air or neutral air. Try to land as many up airs as you can, using your fast fall to get down quickly and hitting with the tip of your up air. If you hit with the tip of the hitbox, you're spacing just right and will get those tougher follow-ups more often. As you get better, try to work platforms into your combos too. Wario does super well on stages with platforms and can use them to extend his combos and get early kills. Basically, once you combo someone up vertically using your up airs, you can hop into the platform then give them the hands again. At close distances, you can up tilt and at further distances, you can up air. Wario can carry opponents up pretty far, jumping from platform to platform. Don't think you have to stay in the air to get combos either. Wario's ground combos are great, especially for beginners. Wario's down tilt is a super fast move that can combo into itself at low percents, aerials at mid percents, and a dash attack at a high percents. Down tilt into dash attack is one of Wario's super reliable kill confirms. It's actually pretty easy to do by moving both sticks in the direction of your enemy immediately after you land the tilt. Grabs are a bit riskier to whiff, but they also make for great and easy combo starters too. Wario's up throw is a bread and butter combo starter that leads into an up air all the way up to 60%. You just have to change how high you jump and when you use the up air depending on their percent. You want to jump higher to catch higher percent opponents. When you start with Wario, you can really build from the ground up. You can practice up throws into up airs, up tilts into up airs, and down tilts into dash attacks. Then you can build platforms into it and start stacking up your up airs. Then you can start using neutral airs to build more complex combos. Finally, you can start throwing in wafts and getting those early kills using up tilt, up air, and neutral air waft setups. So we've talked aerials, we've talked combos, now let's talk about pressure. In Smash Bros, pressure is as good as gold. And you better believe Wario is always going after that gold. In Ultimate, Wario gets his wins through applying insane amounts of pressure. Just like we feel pressure during test or at the free throw line, players feel pressure in game. In fighting games, pressure is when you put an opponent into a really tight spot where they have to pick an option quickly. Pressure is even better when they have to be careful about the option they pick. It's sort of like getting a multiple choice question where there are lots of options and a few look good but only one of them is right. Wario is a great high pressure character because he regularly makes his opponents feel like they're being tested. If they answer wrong, they get an F, not for failure, but for fact. They literally get farted on so hard that they die. 
Wario is one of the ultimate's most feared characters because he has that legendary move. The Rest Reborn, the Stinky Stock Eraser, the Waft. Wario's Waft is a bit different from the rest though. Waft takes time to charge up and has three stages. The Baby Waft, the Half Waft, and the Full Waft. All Wafts will put on some damage and knock opponents back, but the Full Waft is the real star. The Full Waft can take stocks super early, like 40% early, especially at this side of the stage. Even if it doesn't, it tacks on damage and gives Wario stage control. Full Waft can also be used as a recovery tool as it shoots Wario upward. That also means missing Full Waft isn't often fatal, like missing a rest in melee. Wario builds up a Full Waft in about a minute and 47 seconds. The Waft mechanic actually encourages opponents to approach Wario and try to kill him before he builds it up. That's an awesome and super rare advantage for a rushdown character. Most rushdown characters simply have to engage opponents in a close match. They can't choose to run away from zoners and campers because they don't gain anything from stalling. But not Wario. Wario can camp out his opponents and can force him to approach him to stop his walk from building. As that pinup gas applies pressure to Wario's gastrointestinal tract, it also applies pressure to the opponent to do something. Wario just isn't giving those tricky multiple choice questions. He's also putting a tight timer next to them. People don't want the stress of fighting a Wario with a full waft, so they try to end the match before he gets too many of them. But rushing leads to mistakes, and those mistakes lead to openings, combos, and kills for Wario. Waft's pressure is even more insane because of how many ways Wario can set up into waft. Neutral air, up tilt, and up airs can all lead into wafts at lethal mid and high percents. That insane combo and aerial game we mentioned earlier comes back around and makes Wario's wafts insanely scary. He doesn't need a huge read or a committal move. He just needs to hit one of his normal, very fast combo starters. If all that isn't enough, Wario's moves can be so fast that he applies tons of shield pressure. He can cross an opponent up with a flurry of attacks that whittle down their shield. Then he can shield poke with a down tilt and follow up with a dash attack. The pressure gets even worse when Wario gets his opponent off stage, where he can go out and hit them with back airs, down airs, and even a waft. Wario can keep his opponents in disadvantage for an entire stock on and off stage. That kind of pressure really wears on a player. When they push Wario into disadvantage, they can be so rattled that they don't safely attack Wario. If they hit his shield, he can hit back with his frame four neutral air and start comboing them all over again. You thought Ridley was brutal. Whew. You don't want to see what the Space Pirates will look like with Wario in charge. The icing on the pressure cake is Wario's aesthetic. Wario's kind of disgusting. He kills you by farting on you, and pretty much all of his moves are visually and sonically displeasing. There's nothing as demoralizing as getting true combo to 50% while you hear aggressive clapping and a loud wow, wow, wow in the background. Well, nothing except getting farted on and dying at 60%. So, should you play Wario? Well, if you like a strong aerial game and a combo game, then sure. If you like torturing opponents with relentless pressure, then definitely. If you like styling on people with the grossest, rudest moves in the game, then absolutely. If you like great Smash content that helps you improve, then you should definitely subscribe to us here at Pro Guides. We promise our videos in your sub box will be far more attractive than Wario is, and your placements at tournaments will rise and be attractive as ever too.